Hi, this is Peter with Side Effects. Let's take a quick overview of how the Feather tools work and where these individual nodes live within this greater workflow. So let's take a look at how we might do a very simple groom like this. So we have a couple nodes um, that will help us to illustrate how this workflow goes. The first one is this feather image grid. This has a uh, grid in it and it's we've applied a texture. The image texture is just uh, feather atlas that I downloaded from the internet. And we'll use this for reference and also to project some color onto our feathers at a later step. Uh, the feather templates is a really important uh, part of this process. Here you can see that we're setting up the individual feather templates themselves. Um, these exist just as points um, on a curve. There aren't actual geometry that represents these individual barbs. Something important to note when you make these feather templates. You can see here in our network, we have a few different feathers that we're creating. Let's just look at one of these real quick. Um, here we're adding a couple curves to kind of define the outline of where this feather lives. We're organizing the, the curves that we're using. We're creating the, the template initially. Uh, and then I'm just adjusting some of the width uh, of this feather to make sure that the shaft is appropriately uh, thick and that the barbs themselves have the appropriate width as well. From there, we can do some processing um, using the texture here that we created before on the grid uh, just to project some color onto those feathers. Uh, then also using that same grid to define where some noise is happening. Uh, via the texture mask paint node. This is new. Uh, and this is how we can actually see uh, a section that we're painting here. So we're painting just in this area to add some noise into this. And then we output um, the feathers at the very end. I have a feather utility node here just to make sure that all, all of our attributes are calculated correctly. So these are the individual feather templates. We then take that over into the feather uh, overview section here. And this is kind of the the basis of the entire groom. So here we have a sphere up at the top that just has some UVs, normals, things like that. This is just our mesh that we're gonna groom on. The next section here is planting and generating guides. And what this is doing is we're adding a few uh, specific feather templates um, you know, that we're gonna use to interpolate between. Um, we're referencing those from this uh, get feather templates area here we have those all coming in uh, whether it's from disk or wherever it might be in your scene here's our templates that we're referencing uh, and so those individual ones get planted there um, we use a scatter uh, to scatter where the guides are going to be grown from um, the ones that are interpolated from those initial um, specific ones that we've kind of planted uh, and then here we're generating our guides and this is all uh, the interpolation is being driven again by the texture mask paint which is defining the area where the scattering is happening and also how the interpolation of this mesh um, is happening as well so this interpolation mesh drives uh, kind of how each of these uh, guides get um, determine which feather they're going to be and or what blend between them the next section we groom our guides but oftentimes i like to set up the interpolation uh first so we come down here and we can see that we're now interpolating these guides uh, they're fairly low resolution you can adjust that right here so this is what a full resolution version of that would be um, however just for the sake of speed i'm going to turn this down a little bit and maybe turn on the feather visualize here to surface just to make sure that we actually have a kind of surface view of what these look like when they're kind of uh, intersecting each other or how they're laying on top of each other and so from there, we can go back and do some, some uh, grooming. So in this case, we have, I'm just computing the barb orient to make sure that that's correct. Um, at this next stage here, we're processing our guides. You can see those are laying down. I'm going to turn off the guide groom for one second. Uh, and so here's the guides as we've processed them. So we started with them just straight out like this. Then we add a process in, and that's going to kind of lay them down based on an attribute. Uh, and then we can groom those as needed to kind of push them out and get some actual, um, you know, separation between these or, or customize this in whatever way we might want to. And as we look at this, we can see that this is pretty performative. Um, you could have a bunch of feathers in your scene. Uh, I'm just on a simple laptop and I'm able to do some nice grooming, you know, with these pretty, pretty reasonable resolution feathers uh, to be able to see what it is that we're getting in our final groom. Uh, one thing I might note too is that you could also do two of these um, interpolate and post-process sections, uh, have a high quality and a low quality, you know, just have these this resolution multiplier set here. So there's lots of ways that you could obviously set up your groom, uh, but this just illustrates kind of the process from start to finish and hopefully gives you a better idea of where some of these feather nodes will live in your workflow. Thanks for watching.